guys and welcome back to my channel welcome to sunny warm jamaica i'm gonna be showing you guys a little bit about jamaica in these next few weeks my mom is currently like relocating to jamaica and so um her my little sisters my grandma they were all down here and it's really really rare that we're all like in the same area at the same time so i said since everybody's down there since i have the money since i'm not doing anything right now let's go take a trip to jamaica so i got here november 22nd november 23rd really and i'm gonna be leaving december 14th and it's really cool because it's like a trip just like reconnecting with my roots and seeing old places from my childhood because for you guys that don't know i spent a little bit of my childhood in jamaica when i was a baby my mom sent me down here to live with my grandma for a little bit while she got like situated in the states so i was born in the states but then i moved here when i was a baby i moved back to the states to start school um formal education because i actually started school in jamaica too preschool but that's another thing so the first thing that i did when i got here was i started looking at all the pictures because my grandma has so many photo albums and right now i actually have this pile of photos that still has to be um put into albums and like it's just crazy seeing all the memories and stuff you guys this is a picture of me when i was like two days old when i was just born this is a picture of me and my mom when i was a baby that's how you know you're in jamaica when you hear the reggae and dance hall just blasting in the streets all the time it's just nice to like reconnect with everything and see things with a different eye because the last time I was here was 11 years ago for my grandfather's funeral and a lot of things have changed first of all and second of all it's way different seeing something as an 11 year old and seeing something as a 21 year old. One thing that I've made very clear on this channel that I've said multiple times is that I don't come from a family of money, I come from a very poor family. Like my grandmother's parents were farmers, she grew up on a farm and she was the first one in her family to come to um, the city to work and so yeah my grandma has a house and it's a pretty big house and she's done a lot of renovations and building on it but the house is still in like the ghetto of jamaica it's like but they, they actually don't even they use the word ghetto in jamaica but it's more like downtown they use the words downtown and uptown more and uptown is where like the upper middle class and the rich people live and downtown is where like the lower middle class and the poor people live and my grandma lives in like a lower middle class area and even though like people are poor here the average um i think the minimum wage is a little bit less than 50 dollars a week in jamaica um but even with that people are pretty happy and i it's always so hard to get that to wrap up on foreigners western foreigners minds around that is that money is not the key to happiness even to wrap that around some jamaicans minds money isn't the key to happiness like some of the happiest more care most carefree people i know are the people that live in this neighborhood in this neighborhood kids go around and play together and families like watch out for each other my grandma knows like all of her neighbors they they all know me they all like helped raise me essentially and everybody here knows everybody and everybody helps everybody and even though people are poor you still have a good time and it's like it's still your home and all your history is here i'm rambling but i don't know it's it's a lot to think about and a lot to take in because it's just very different but i needed i needed this trip to just like reconnect with my roots and remind myself of where i came from and to never lose touch of where i came from where my family comes from and what i'm trying to do so i'm going to be showing you guys jamaica and jamaica isn't all like fancy beach resorts or even jungles and tropical fruits i want to show you guys a different lifestyle i want to show you guys like the life of somebody that lives in the city the life of somebody that's not rich that lives in the city um and just like everyday jamaica for an everyday jamaican so yeah brace yourself and just try to have like an open mind just because you see something doesn't mean don't jump to the first thing that comes into your mind just because you see poor people don't get scared and think oh my god they're dying they're suffering they're starving because it's not like that at all just thoughts actually i should get you guys into the vlog let's let's get into the vlog i'm gonna try to do vlogmas so i guess this is day one of vlogmas and at least half of vlogmas you guys are gonna be seeing jamaica um I hope that I have something interesting enough to do for the every day that I'm here, and I hope that you guys like. So, here's the vlog. This is fresh coconut water from the coconut. Hi 
Hi guys, good morning. I'm in downtown Kingston with my cousin Keisha. Keisha, say hi, hi to my to my followers. Right now, I'm trying to find a place to um take some pictures. We just got some coconut water, like real coconut water, out of the coconut, not from the store, and <laughs> we're gonna go take some pictures now. Man, I'm really sweaty. That is going to be the first vlog of Vlogmas that we're gonna try to do. The Jamaica vlogs. I'm showing you guys Jamaica. Um, yeah, I just felt it was necessary to show you guys where my grandma lives because, you know, I'm not embarrassed of it. And that's the real Jamaica. Some parts look like Europe and America and then some parts look like this. But honestly, Jamaicans live pretty well. Um, I always have a great time when I'm down here. I'm not suffering and I'm not needing anything. So, I don't know, I guess it's just a different perspective and something different for us Westerners, my Western viewers, to see. So, I hope you guys like this video. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, I guess. Mm -hmm.